nyuki ni wadudu ambao si kila mtu atapenda kuwasongea lakini sisi tukiongozwa na bwana mdogo huyu kwa jina Leon Cruz almaarufu B-boy tutawakaribia baada ya kuvaa magonda maalum na kutoa moshi wa kuwafukia na hizi ni za kazi gani so this is the hive tool for opening up the hive and this is for removing the frames this is called the bee brush it's for gently brushing the bees off the combs to inspect the colony or to harvest Amini usiamini. Leon ana miaka kumi na minne pekee. Amini kwa secondary school. Mimi nilianza kufuga nyuki sababu niliona nyuki inatangaza asali na mimi napenda asali kabisa. So nilifikiria tu kama niko na nyuki si hata nitakuwa na asali. Dino Martin. Uh, yani mtu ana study nyuki pia. Aliniacha kufuga nyuki. Alafu nilianda beekeeping course huko Ngong. Alafu nilifunzwa na mzungu mwingine anaitwa Blackwell. Mm -hmm. Mara ya kwanza kwanza mambo yalikuwaaje ukianza kufuga miki? Si kuogopa. Kwa sasa ameleta mzinga wa nyuki 1600 anaowahamisha kwenye mzinga mwingine. Mimi nachunga mimi, mimi nachunganga kama mzinga uh, 600. Unachungia kwa mfano kama watu. Yeah, ndio. Na wewe binafsi una mzinga mingapi? Kama 40. Kadri alivyokuwa akikagua mizinga hii ndivyo nyuki walizidi kutisha kutokana na wingi wao. You never approach the hive from the entrance because it blocks the yield bees from coming in and it just disturbs the bees. Mm -hmm. So when you open the hive is the friend. Na ulisema tunaweka moshi, si ndio? Yeah. Moshi wa kazi gani? Moshi uh, inafanya nyuki wafikiria iko bush fire. Alienda katika shule ya banda na sasa hivi anatazamia kujiunga na shule ya upili mwakani. Yeye hutoa wapi muda kwa kuhudumia nyuki hawa? Gardener yangu, shamba boy, alikuwa anataka ku, kuchunga mzinga zangu nikienda South Africa. Sasa nilimfunza kila kitu. Kutoa hiyo queen, kuweka ingine, hata nilimfunza ku queen, uh, queen uh, breed, nilimfunza ku set up mzinga, kupangusa, ku bait, kila kitu. Hali kadhalika Leon huchungia watu mzinga yao ya nyuki. Na anasema kuwa wengi ukosa kuamini kwamba kijana mdogo kama yeye anafanya mambo makubwa kama haya. Wanashangaa wanasema ai wewe uwezifunza sisi mambo ya nyuki. Mm. Alafu akiona wanashangaa sana. Mm. Wana ni respect vibaya sana. Mm. Uh, kama watu wa huruma niliwafunza walishangaa. Mm. Ati mimi ni mtoto. Nilitumia fursa hii kujifaidi mauli matatu kutokana na nyuki hawa ambao huaguliwa kutokana na maya ya nyuki wa kike ambaye Cruise anamuita Queen. Kila mzinga iko na Queen. Kama iko mbili watauana. When she gets her egg laid, um, she hatches on 16 on the 16th day. 23rd day she is mated and then the 28th day she starts laying. A good indication when she starts laying is when you see start seeing pollen coming in like this jamaa hapa. Ona kuna pollen. Atama ndunga. I'll show you the male bees just now. Uh -huh. So they met the queen. They met the queen about Lapa seven times. Kama mara saba. Uh, kwa hiyo 23rd day. Alafu ana store hiyo sperm uh, throughout her lifetime. Uh, yeah, she's not mated again. Nyuki uh -huh. mda gani? Yeah. 3 months. Ndio harvest alafu uki extract about 2 months. Eh, uh, naona kweli ufugaji nyuki ama uvunaji wa asali hauhitaji watu wenye roho tepetevu. Unahitaji watu wenye ujasiri kweli. Asali ya mzinga huu imeiva kwa muda wa miezi mitatu na kulingana naye tutavuna. Unanitishia mm. sana hawa nyuki no, no. Taratibu anatoa masega yenye asali. This is just for honey. It's called the honey super. Honey super. Yeah, it has 10 frames. Mm. So kuna asali hapa. Yeah, lakini like hizi zingine mm. zimefunikwa. It's mm -hmm. called capping. Mm -hmm. Umesema hii company natural. Yeah, it's natural. It's artificial. It's natural. Yeah. Natural comb. Mm. Kwa hivyo ni wakati wa kula asali baada ya kufuata nyuki. Vile unaona asali imeiva, unafanya hivi na ikitoka hapa haijaiva unarudisha kwa mzinga. Naona hii haitoki iko sawa. Water content yake it's below 24 and above 16 hii meiva unaweka leon anakiri kwamba yeye na asali ni kama jembe na mpini 
Honey, it doesn't make you fat. It has very many medicinal purposes. To say many kiyote in the world. Sisi, we will only live for four years. To take up a kwai for four years, kama nyuki zinenda. They help with our food source, maji, what pollination. Wana saidia kila kitu. Kazi hi inamlipa. Sema mi na enda kuanika, muzinga kuweka kwa miti. Muzinga moja mi na charge fifteen hundred. Kwa mwezi, kazi ya muzinga inaweza kupea pesa ngapi? Kama alfu amsini arubaini. Hi asali mi ni meshika pa. Naza uza miaina. Hata hivyo Chris, hupitia changamoto japo si tele. Veromite, theft, weak colonies, time. Nga umejulia wapi kiswa ilima na Kenya? Driver angu wa menifunza. Na nimezali wa Kenya, lazima mutu wa Kenya ajue kiswa ilima. Usisahau kwamba nyuki usaidia aslimia sabini ya mimea kukua. Hata ngombe hula nyasi zilizo kuzo na nyuki. About a third of the food that humans eat benefits from honeybee pollination. Without honeybee pollination, we'd be basically eating porridge. No milk to put on it, no berries, uh, no yogurt. So they are very important for our diet. He inamaanisha kwamba bila nyuki, maduka ya vyakula yangekuwa makavu. Kama wewe unapania ya kufuga nyuki, basi huyu bwana mdogo amekuwa mwenye manufaa. Na kwa wale wanaosingizia umri wao mdogo, kwa kutotekeleza hili au lile Cruz amekuwa mwenye hamasa ama kwa kweli Victor Uwetende Ebru Magharibi mtaa wa Loresho Nairobi